Ladies, what insecurities do you often see in men that woman couldn't care less about? Your height. I don't care unless you're below my shoulders. If you complain about how you can't get girls due to your height, that's fine. But doing it every day to the girl you actually like to gain some sort of sympathy will deplete any chances you had in the first place. Please, be confident. I'm a gay dude if it counts. It seems like straight guys care way more about being as buff as possible, with many of them taking it to the point where it's not even attractive and going to the gym takes over their lives. I'm perfectly content with a guy who's simply casually in shape and exercises whenever. No six packs or biceps bigger than their heads necessary. My boyfriend is self-conscious of his hairline, his teeth, and his height. None of these things have ever bothered me. We all have insecurities he sees mine. My acne, my bumpy nose, and still loves me. I wouldn't love him if I didn't love all of him. I'm into really skinny guys and the majority of guys I've been with have made comments about hating their bodies and how skinny they are. I've never really understood because I think they look great. But I guess there is a stereotype of guys being big and buff and stuff. Lack of sexual experience. As long as you're kind, eager, and willing to learn. You're already doing better in bed than a dude who thinks he has it all figured out and doesn't bother to listen to his partner and assumes he already knows what you'll like. Knowing anything about sports or being bro why? Knowing about girly things. Really I'm not into sports so it's a huge plus when a guy doesn't like sports and is super hot when my husband can braid my hair, buys perfectly fashionable clothes, cook an amazing meal. Be an expert at cleaning the house or arrange an amazing centerpiece really I just married the best guy. The need to be really muscly, or the obsession with growing lots of facial hair. Not being able to grow a beard mustache. Honestly who cares? But I've known so many guys that feel insecure because they are not hairy enough. I've noticed that multiple guys I have dated will flex their biceps when I grab hold of their arm on a walk or suck in their tummy, like, it's not super important. I like muscles as much as the next girl, but dad bods are a-okay in my book too. Maybe buried but I've noticed a lot of guys are self-conscious about moaning during sex. Honestly, it turns me on a lot more to know that you're enjoying it just as much as me. Their salaries being lower than mine, I honestly couldn't care less as long as you are working. Hard one to put into words, but doing anything that isn't masculine. Like I took my boyfriend to Lush with me once and he was too nervous to show interest in things because apparently self care makes you look gay. I could tell he wanted to try this face wash though so I bought it next time I went and left it in his shower. Never seen him smile so hard in my life. He's definitely come out of his shell more since we got together but I can tell that there's still that what if this makes me a pussy voice in his head. Not lasting long enough in bed. Porn makes people believe sex needs to be hours long to be enjoyable. I don't agree. Foreplay should be long enough for both parties to be turned on and then sex till both people come. That's it. It's about quality not quantity. I'd rather have 10 minutes of fun sex than 40 minutes of forced sex. Edit. To clarify I mean 10 minutes including foreplay and everything. Not 10 minutes of penetration. I also am not saying this is for everyone. I am simply talking about me and my preferences. Some girls need longer foreplay, some girls like it quick. It all depends on the individual. Balding as they age. My husband started buzzing his hair recently because he's self-conscious about his hairline. I told him I would always find him attractive, and I actually find it kind of charming. He called bullshit, and asked, name one attractive bald man. I said, Bruce Willis, Dwayne Johnson. The fear of letting their emotions show making them look weak or vulnerable. If you're hurt about something, I want to know. If you saw something that made you upset, tell me all about it. If you need to cry, cry to me. Having emotions doesn't make you less of a man. It just makes you human. A little chub around the middle. Like, take care of yourself. But don't feel bad if you don't have washboard abs. I feel like media is so toxic for men. Insisting that they be sculpted and toned. It's just as bad for women. Of course, 
But if I'm gonna curl up with a guy on the couch to watch a movie, I'd rather have something to snuggle with, not a breathing sculpture. Grey or silver hair. It doesn't affect how you look and it doesn't matter if you think you're too young for it. For many, many women this minor feature can be a big turn on. If you find a woman that does care then she likely doesn't appreciate the other amazing things about you either. Get you someone who truly appreciates everything. Penis size. Unless you are packing a tic tac we don't really care. When a guy comes right away and then spends the next hour going down on you to try and compensate. And then beats himself up about it and apologizes that he came too quickly. You literally just ate me out until I orgasmed like 8 times. Why are you apologizing? You think I am timing you with a stopwatch? You don't have to know anything about bourbon, wine, cars, sports, and I won't get bored to death. Win-win. I know not everyone will agree with me, but height. I'm 5 feet 9 and my so is about 5 feet 7. I know, not much difference, and I feel sad when I think that women disregard men because they might be shorter than their minimum height requirements. Get over it. Nobody has control over their height. Penis length. I have not met one guy who knew what the actual average was. They all went off the dudes in porn and assumed they were below average. Google stuff. People. In case you all don't know. A 2014 compilation of studies of 15,521 men found that the average erect penis size is 5.16 inches long. 13.12 centimeter. And the average penis circumference aka girth, is 4.59 inches, 9.31 cm. Nearly 90% of guys have a penis between 4 to 6 inches, 1% of men have a penis between 7 to 8 inches, 0.7% have a 9 inch penis, 0.1% of guys have a penis larger than 9 inches. Women will very likely feel your girth more than your length. Something almost no men understand is our vaginas do not have the same sensitivity as your penis. Want to know what it feels like? Push your tongue against your cheek, or your finger. Do you notice that the inside of your cheek experiences pressure but isn't sensitive to your actual touch? That, that is what it feels like. The most sensitive part is the opening and your girth affects that. On that point, the shape of your dick and the position you're in determined if you hit any of our sensitive pleasurable areas. You can't change your dick without surgery, but you can change your position. Fingers are usually better anyways. And if the girl likes the feeling of being filled up, put her in a position that shortens her vagina, on her back with her legs pushed back, or on her side with her knees to her chest. And for the love of god, please understand that slamming your dick into us and bottoming out hurts like hell. We'd rather you not. It's much better to be smaller than to be too big. In my case penis size and time. Like if he comes in 5 minutes he starts apologizing repeatedly. But seriously is kinda sexy cause it means he wants you so much he couldn't contain himself. Your dick randomly not wanting to get hard. Haven't had the issue with my so now. But it was an issue for two different dudes I had dated. The first one I was only like 18 so I googled the issue and google informed me that it's a mental thing and to just not make a big deal out of it and it goes away. Which worked and I didn't have the problem again with him. The second dude was more experienced and was shocked when it happened and like freaked the fuck out and started apologizing profusely. I followed my teachings and proceeded to ignore him and told him he has more than a dick and I genuinely did not care if he couldn't fuck me at that moment. My sex drive was much higher so that was a high fear for him. Afterward he was fine again and he told me how surprised he was that it didn't bother me. TLDR. Don't stress if your dick decides to not be hard randomly. It's just a mental block and if you relax and focus on doing other things like mouth stuff you'll be fine. Being the tough guy and letting other men disrespect you. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. If an asshole just cut you off in traffic or insulted you another way, you can let it go and no one will think less of you. I've seen way too many men escalate idiotic conflicts because they don't want to seem like wimps. We don't care if someone calls you a FG and you don't stand up for yourself. Really, I will always respect a man that walks away from violence, than a guy that fights back. 
A male friend of mine asked me what do women notice first, the size of their forearms or biceps and I can confidently say those are things I have never even thought about before he mentioned it. Also I really don't care if you're losing hair. Balding hair. I couldn't care less. Penis size. It's how you use it. Making women come. There may be other women who disagree, but I had a handful of really lovely encounters that never led to me coming. I just enjoyed sharing closeness at the time. And an orgasm is such a mental thing for me. It may or may not happen, but I enjoy cuddling and bonding and pleasing my partner. I don't have to orgasm every time I have sex. Sometimes I just want to be close to someone and please them.